to the climbing mecca of Edinburgh! Woo! We're back at Rathal Quarry after months oh off God. rock climbing. The last time we were here, Cullen had a near-death experience. I, yeah, I, I remember that really, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a bit scared for my, I feel like when I, when I did come here, I was like, I was afraid to play a skier. I was afraid, there's an E2 over there. And I done it and I was like, whoo! It, it took me a while to get back into it. <laughs> but we're back here. Lockdown is almost over. Sun's out. Beautiful. Rocks kind of dry. We're in, the, climbing. we're in the back garden currently. It's like the back closet of Ratho. That's why, hence the containers, the shite everywhere. But yeah. what, what are we doing Go back here? Back. Why are we in the in the back junkyard of Ratho? Because there is a climb up there, which I fancy trying. It's an E7. It's bold. It's kind of sketchy. I just abbed down and looked at the gear and it's kind of a bit scary. Is it dry? Is it dry? There's one wet hold on it which happens to be the crux hold. It adds just a little bit of spice to the whole yeah. thing. Oh, we're here at the base to crag at Biles on. Robbie is geared up, trad rack on, shoes are coming on, spit helmet them, is on. Them, gave him a little polish. Nice, how are you feeling? Do you know what? Every time I go on lead, I always get nervous. I'm always, 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 always nervous. I just, my mind always like, just, just like comes flush with just like all the thoughts of what could go wrong. Like, ah, if I fall at this bit, like, will the gear rip out? Will I hit the ground? What's gonna, what's gonna be the result? What's gonna happen? But I try and just like get myself thinking really positively. Remember that, you know, if I get this bit of gear, this bit of gear is good. Should be fine. Cullen's a good bailier sometimes. I've forgotten to play some gear. Classic. Hey! Yeah! Woo! 
Nice one. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was good. I don't know, I was like, you know, right at the very end there, I knew I was on good hold. And I was like, fuck the sequence, I'm just going to campus it. <laughs> I just literally scrambled my feet up. I was like, I'm on huge jogs, but I'm run out to fuck. I'm just going to scrap. It's going to campus the top section. Oh man, that was good. Psyched for that. It's a good first like hard route of the season. Fuck yeah. Boom. Yes. Oh, I didn't see anything. Hey, where'd that other guy go? Wow. This is, an, uh, this is E6 arrest. I thought I had to kind of drop it back a bit after nearly killing myself from the EA and get my head back into trad. So this is, I actually tried this on top rope last time we were here. And although I could do all the moves and I could get from the bottom to the top, I was just feeling not, not very secure on it. And it's quite a route that you want to be secure on because the gear is like kind of just awkward position to get it in and just getting up into the gear isn't the most like is it in, is it's not the safest, easiest, so it's something I want to be secure on. Fuck. No. <laughs> See there, I was such a lunge. That's what I don't want. I don't, I don't want to be like lunging to it. Ah. Like double up people go there and just uh that like just in the wall. Ah shit, that's the thing the left rope to Fuck! Alright, we ready? Oh, we're recording. Cool. It's quite. Whoa. Wait a minute, it's too bright. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man, calm down. Fucking hands there are everywhere. Yeah. It's to get across for deaf people. <laughs> there's deaf people watching, and I just went, oh, welcome back. They'd be like, this guy's not very excited. If I go like this, then deaf person would be like, whoa, that's excitement right there. Okay, I'll be sign doing sign language. <laughs> <laughs> welcome for the day two of Ratho. Woo! Yes. Wow. Back learning how to trad climb in Edinburgh's premier track climbing venue. The mecca of track climbing in Edinburgh. What's your plan for today? To so I looked at the E6 last time and since since I've been on the E6 I've been running through my head and I've like come up with new beta and new ways to place the gear. In my head it works perfectly so I'm gonna test that and I feel like if it works out as well as it did in my head today is the day. How are you going to test go it though? You're going to take some lobs off under the gear? Yeah, I'm just going to go for a ground up. Just yeah, nice. Just place one it. or two pieces. You know, straight on the sharp end, put your money where your mouth is, go for it. And so <laughs> you're, taking, you're taking a trip down memory lane. Yeah, I, so I'm doing this E8 behind us, which I have done before, um, a couple of years ago. And I'm a lot like, of years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was quite, quite a few years ago. But you know, it's good to go and repeat these things. It's good to like, you know, brush off the cobwebs of the old trad climbing, get yourself in a sharp pin, get yourself a wee bit scared. So it's, I'm excited to see you climb it. Seeing as last time we tried to climb it, it was just a shit show. Don't mention that. <laughs> Don't mention that. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I wasn't in the right place. I wasn't in the right headspace, okay? It happens. It happens to the best of us. I don't know if you Robbie bailed off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say that. After I took an epic whip off the top and nearly died. So I'm getting ready for the lead. Yeah, or more importantly, I'm getting ready for the belay. You're getting ready for the belay, it's the most important thing. Process. So I'm like, kind of belaying, especially when you get to higher grades, like above HDS. You want to make sure your fingers are actually warmed up. Because people will go into a cold, but like, if you think about it, usually climbing holds are pretty big, they're ergonomic, so it's grand holders. A rope isn't. It's Look how small a rope is compared to my hand. So true. You can't Seven, just, you need to, grip tight to make sure you hold the fold. That's true, that's true. So what I do is when I'm actually flaking this out, I'm like, if you notice, I don't just go like this, I go, I'm kind of like pulsing my hand, and that warms up, I pulse this hand as well, gets your finger warmed up, you start feeling it with the um, rope, and it's just kind of, I think it's a good procedure. A lot of people make the have the misunderstanding that it's actually climbing we're coming to do, when in fact it's actually bealing. Bealing yeah. is actually what we're here to do, and climbing is just the unfortunate byproduct of the whole, the whole activity of bealing. I would say because somebody climbing for the first time, I would feel more confident trying to trying to leave them climb something hard than I would 
than be laying something hard on the first time be laying. That's true. That's very true. Like a first time be a first time climber, it'd be like, yeah, try the nine a for the laugh. Oh, it's a bit of fun. But he leaves them be lay nine a. Definitely not. Definitely not. But um, the most important thing I have to mention is the fact that I'm technically wearing my underwear today to climb. <laughs> Because I forgot. <laughs> I feel like you always wear underwear when you're climbing. No, I, I do always wear underwear, but usually I'm using, wearing underwear with something over the top of it. And today I have gone just with underwear. Um, because when I, I have these like really nice like Nano Air pants, which I, I, I basically wear them for everything. I just like hang around the house or sometimes I sleep in the van in them. But I just forgot to take them off when I left the house and realized I didn't have any other, you know, climbing oh, pants. Sir. So I'm essentially climbing in my underwear today. I feel like it's a good day for it because although it looks sunny, it's quite cold. It's here. a bit nippy, a bit nippy. Mm. Oh, smelly. Are you getting the pre climb farts? Oh, yeah, the pre climb farts. It happens almost every time. I think it's the nerves, they just bubble up inside and I have to release them somehow. If you don't release them, then, you know, it builds up. But it's up. air, so it actually lifts you up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like a little bit of propulsion. So sometimes I like save a little bit for when I get to the crux, just so I get that upward. Potion, you know. Bonus points if it's a bit wet. <laughs> you definitely don't want a wet one when you do that. There's not a lot of propulsion. That just weighs you down. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense actually. <laughs> oh, okay then. You ready? I'm ready. Boom. He's setting off, placing a few sets of gear. There's old Michael there. Oh, looking for rope. Just shoot the rope going down. So not you throwing it? Oh no, me throwing it and then just pan down and then just get the rope going down. <sighs> okay, off be late. Woo! That definitely could have gone better. <laughs> yeah boy! Unbelievably, it has started snowing on like literally one of the warmest days we've had climbing so far. Like, and it's snowing kind of heavily now. It's so strange. Bizarre weather. This is global warming, guys. This is. I want to shout out to the world so they know. What's the crack? It's day four in the Big Brother house, oh, aka Rathal Quarry. And look at this man in his 
beautiful Hawaiian shirt. Match the dripping sweat weather at the moment. How are we getting? It's about 300 degrees Celsius. The thing with the quarry <laughs> is because it's so fucking cornered off. It's cold outside in the real world, but in here it's like Spain. It's, I know, it's like a sun trap. And like the rock is actually quite dark, which makes it absorb the heat. And it just like makes your fingers sweat as you're climbing the sketchy. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's, I'm not why I'm going. <laughs> that's why he's going for the E6. Yeah. yeah, this is big news, guys. Cullen is going for the E6. This is potentially yeah. his hardest ever trad climb. Is it? Potentially. Yeah, it's probably. I mean, hardest... he's definitely the most you've tried. Yeah, that's true. Hardest difficulty, yeah. Hardest in terms of like, yeah, difficulty. Anyway, man. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling good. I've worked on the front loads. But it's more of a mental battle, this claim. I mean, physically, I can literally do it all grand. I feel it all grand. But mentally, the gear, the gear placement is kind of strenuous. The gear is good. It's just a bit run on parts. It's just a bit like bold. It's not, but the thing is, man. Yeah, it's not actually bold because it's safe. The gear is good. Right? Yeah. Remember that. The gear is good. You get those bomber wires in. Bomber, man. And then is you there's only Pedals one down. move. It's literally just after I place the gear, so I'm at the gear. Just a move off that is the only one I could drop. Yeah. But I shouldn't drop it. Boom. Let's do this. <laughs> Fucking yeah! Good! Oh my god, I shit it! Oh my god! Go on! I feel like I should kick my helmet off. <laughs> Fucking yeah! Yeah. You go, do you want to go down then touch the group Griffin? Yeah mate, do you want to just do it again so I can record it? <laughs> yeah, no, they're there. Like, on b or off b <laughs> oh. Nice one, dude. Congratulations. Nice. That's Thank something you. awesome, man. I'm buzzed. I bet you are. As good as a weight off the shoulders. Tell me, man, how did it go? How did it feel? It was actually like in the end. It was that, like the move that I thought I was going to fall off of coming up off the underclings felt like one of the easiest moves on it. I just felt so smooth. I was just like, oh, easy. And the move that I thought was like going to be the easy one that I was like, oh, I don't need to worry about falling off. Then I had my hand in the crack and I had to go like my foot up to a pebble here and then foot up higher on the corner, then come over. That felt, I was like, oh, and that's like the run out part that I was like, oh, that'll be grand, that'll be perfect. Yeah. It was funny, but it felt good. It was, it was a way easier than. 
you know, from my, my own speaking from my own, it was a little bit of a nerve wracking belay. Yeah. I don't know if I was get if I was like getting some of your nerves. I, think I, I definitely I, passed them on. Oh, <laughs> you passed them on to me. I was like, I was fairly nervous for you. <laughs> Good effort, man. I'm done. End of I'm an retiring now. Retired rock climbing. Yeah. End of an era. Spoiling now. Ooh, the sun is setting. The climbers are gone. All that lays left in Rathacquarry Quarry is one wild Robbie Phillips. Yeah, come Just on. Time for a warm down end of session. Probably, yeah, I guess the last route of the day. So, yeah. what are you gonna warm down on? Just gonna warm down in this E7. Ah, extreme! Casual E7 to finish the day. I'm gonna put my helmet on, of course, because I'm no fool. Well, you don't want to be a fool. I don't want to be a fool, no. And if you don't wear a helmet, then you could hear your head and be a fool. But it's... Have you worked it? I had like a... I had a little play at the moves at the top there earlier. Um, and it shares the start of the E8, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Nice. But it's nippy. It's nippy. It's got like a hard, some hard moves at the top. A little bit of spice. Ooh. It's going to get my fingers all warmed up on those little crimps. And it's like this phone is going to get inside your head. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Smash it. Go. Boom. Blue on the left. Yeah. I walked all the way from East St. Louis to town. And I'm getting those numb fingers again. Bloody Raynaud syndrome, it's a fucking nightmare. Somebody has a bloody cure for this, tell me. Fucking hole just broke there. <laughs> Jesus. <Hey. laughs> That's good. Ah! 
Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> like a wee hole just broke. Kind of just as like, I was reaching up for that big hand jam, I think it was. And look at my finger. It's bloody white. I can't feel anything out of it. Had, the rain was so bad on that. I don't know what to do about this. It's an absolute nightmare, honestly. Yeah, cheers. Um, okay, I'll just uh, set the billy up for you. Take me off. Yeah, I think I think it was like it looks really cool dynamic. You're like semi-silhouetted against the sky here. So I think it should I think it I think it should look good. 